Hey everybody, I'm Mike Sokol from RV Electricity and welcome to the back deck of my Funk Works lab here in Funkstown, Maryland. I'm going to have a little fun today because I've got an interesting uh, set of gadgets to show you. You guys should all remember the Soft Start RV. Uh, this is a product that I originally got a couple years ago. I began doing tests and creating videos using a high rate data logger that I built called Hurdle. And you could see exactly how it worked. Of course, to make it work, you had to hook it up directly into your air conditioner compressor. And its job was to reduce the startup surge so that you could run your air conditioner off of smaller generators and say limited power, you know, 20 amp outlets and a few other things like that. That worked great. It was a little bit of a challenge sometimes to mount it inside of some of these air conditioners that didn't really have enough room but mount them they did. So last year they came up with something called Soft Start RV, new and improved version. Okay, same great taste, less filling as it were. Works exactly the same way as the original one. In fact, all the ones that you buy right now are this size. Um, does exactly the same thing, but in order to make it work, you have to hook it up inside of the air conditioner compressor. Not a big deal, uh, especially with some of the new no cut, no splice, uh, videos that I've done. Works great for many of you. That's still the product of choice that you're going to want to use. Now, guess what? They just came up with this year. This is Soft Start Up. And if you look, it's a little bit different because guess what it's got? It's got a 30 amp plug on it and a 30 amp receptacle. So this just plugs into your campground pedestal, your 30 amp outlet or through an adapter. And then what it does is it listens for any surge currents that are happening inside of your RV. So it's listening for a starting surge from your air conditioner of your rooftop air conditioner or a starting surge from say your domestic refrigerator compressor in there. And then what it does is it carefully modulates the available current so it doesn't trip your Honda or any other 2200 watt class generator or trip a, a 30 amp breaker that's already been loaded up pretty heavily with a variety of other things that you may be running in your RV at the same time. Or I'm actually gonna show you how I'm going to use a new Jackery Explorer 2000 Pro solar generator. That is one of these lithium battery packs to run this air conditioner for well over an hour, probably an hour and a half to two hours if I wanna let it run. Um, Okay, let's have a little fun here on the back deck. Hey everybody. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I've got the soft start up in the circuit. So I'm just coming off of a regular 15 amp outlet on the side of my shop, going through a 15 to 30 amp adapter, plugging into soft start up. And this is how you could be doing this in your own residence if you needed to. I am now just using a, uh, a 30 to 15 amp adapter so that I can monitor the current here um, and then feed that into the Dometic. But you would normally just be plugging this directly right into the side of your, say, 30 amp um, shore power inlet, you know, right on your, uh, your, your cord set. You need to use a meter uh, that actually has a surge function, or in this case, they call it a an inrush current setting. It's a little hard to see on here, so I'll show you afterwards. The thing that's interesting, even though this is clamping the current, it's doing it so quickly that this meter doesn't see the clamping action. And the compressor's going to kick in. There it is. So notice, even though that it's stating, saying that we had a 40.23 amp inrush, it actually modulated and clamped that down so that there was no big bang when this thing started up. It just kind of did a little whoosh and there it was going. Okay, next up, you can hear I have my little Honda running in the background, my EU2200. So it's reporting around a 34 and 0.39 amperes of startup surge. And normally this will not uh, start up successfully, but because it is modulated 
the slew rate of the inrush current, the generator is okay with that. Pretty neat, huh? Okay, let's move on to the next test. Okay. So now for my third test today, this is a little quieter because I have a Jackery Explorer 2000 Pro. So this is their brand new box here that is actually, well, it's, does pretty much what a Honda 2000 watt generator does for but for an hour and change before it runs out of juice. Again, a Medic 15K BTU air conditioner coming out of a regular uh, 15, 20 amp outlet going in through soft start up. I've got it then feeding through my little line splitter so I can kind of monitor what's going on and then just feeding the air conditioner. And there it is, it said 38.66. Even though it is not really 38.66, it's just this can't keep up with the modulation of the maximum current that's happening inside of this. Now, here's, here's the fourth thing that you can do with soft startup. And again, because you can plug it in to a regular 30 amp outlet, you can get an adapter from, say, a 3,000 watt class generator. Could be from Honda, Harbor Freight, anybody that you like. Plug it in directly into here, and then plug this into your other outlet, into a home box. So this is basically an exterior generator box that you can bring into your house. Now this is only set up to do 120 volts. It's a single pole, which would match up fine with your 3000 watt generator, because they're all generally only 120 volt. But what you can do is something really super interesting. Because this now, you can go ahead and set up some rooms in your house just on its own circuit. You don't have to go get a 10 or 20,000 watt generator to run everything in your house. You can just create what we will call a safe zone or a safe room. So you could have a few of these lines that would be go power up, let's say, a window air conditioner. This will work fine on a window air conditioner. Uh, could work on your refrigerator and your freezer and a couple of other things. So you should be able to if you're in an emergency situation and you just need home power and you happen to have a 3000 watt generator from your RV, you can hook that generator up to feed the power in your house. Now, I never recommend suicide cords. I think those are just like a really bad idea. But something like this, if you put the appropriate twist lock connector on here, set the generator at least 20 feet away from your house to avoid carbon monoxide issues. And then basically what you can do is just create a room or so in your house where you have a ceiling fan and air conditioner, especially if you've got senior citizens or places you can sleep at night. This is really, really important if you're in Texas or California or any places that may have power challenges during the summer or in the winter. So let's say it's in the summer and it's hot, you can create a single room. I've tried this, this will run uh, a, a 10,000 BTU air conditioner very, very nicely, 10 to 15,000 in your wall while it's also running a refrigerator and maybe a freezer at the same time. Uh, and again, this is not going to run your whole house, but you can see that you can now be comfortable and safe, keep your food safe, have enough power to run, <laughs> run video games for the kids and keep them all happy. So I think this is, um, this is yet another really, really interesting use for this. I'm going to do separate videos on that later once I get something like this installed in my own box, in my own uh, house service panel. But right now, I'm just asking you to use your imagination. Okay, everybody, I'm Mike Sokol from RV Electricity. Thanks for visiting me on the back deck of the Funkworks Lab, and I'll see you next time.